the reason I chose to do my character Keisha, nobody gonna nail it how I want to nail it. That's why I did my stuff myself. You ain't gonna hit it how I want to hit it. So I did my stuff myself. I ain't care. At first, it was a lot of it. Oh, you know, saying that you gay, you know, it used to bother me. It that bothered was, you it, when I first started. It bothered me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Who was the first co comedian you ever seen? Um, Eddie Murphy. First, on first, like on TV. Yeah, cause that would be Eddie, the first. Eddie Murphy. I, that would be I, the first I'll comedian. Watch period. I watched Raw. It was hard for you. Yeah, I shouldn't have watched it though. <laughs> How old were you when you watched it? I was it? little. I was little. It was a lot of cussing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we all go through that. I, I got on that Dolomite phase. You, that's a little bit before I, that. Yeah, that, my brother used to watch yeah, that. So I, when you're older, you go to Dolomite, then you go to Richard Pryor, then you go to Eddie, then you go to Martin, and he just goes on, you know. Yeah, my brother, he he, Dol he Dolomite, Richard Pryor, all that. It was mm -hmm. just a lot of cussing. cussing. Like, nah, you can't watch this. Wow. I, I want to just get into the fact of, so Tony Baker, you, like, like the voiceover thing, like, how did you even bump in and saying this is I can do this voiceovers on behind these videos? I just tried it. I always that's something I wanted to do always growing up. I wanted to do like I used to watch like cartoons and stuff, and I mute the TV just to see if I could say what they saying, you okay. know, figure out what they saying. So I just tried it on the video, and I mean it just kept blowing up. Get your butt from out of here. You get your butt from out of here. Before they fired me, before they even hired me, they gonna fire you, Big Bird, with that nest on your head. They was like, you need to do some more. They started messaging me videos. Do this one. Do that one. Okay, thank you. Okay, take it easy. All right. Girl, you is a clown. What I tell you? And it started blowing up. I'm like, it's easy. It take me one take to do it. Wow. You know, I mute it. Look at it. Go. You know, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Country Wayne. Like, you guys are not, uh, you know, this is something new found for everybody, you know. And I think that's the biggest thing. When Even when I talk to him, it's still a thing where, you know, other comedians, they don't, and I get right in. I guess I just dive right on in, right? Like, other comedians, a lot of time don't respect you, uh, the way you guys came into the game, you know, oh, yeah. because of the way you guys didn't go to those old old clubs. And yeah. a lot of them think y'all can't even hang at them old clubs. Yeah. I'm just being real. No, you ain't, of, no, I I know, you know, you're not on it the other day. Not lying. Uh, it, they, they like, okay, they run and they won't even do a a, a show in their own city because they know they can't bring it yeah. where it really need to be brought at. Yeah. Like, what do you think about that whole, uh, you know, just the way pe people look at it as far as the comedy world? It don't even bother me because I done proved, I done proved to all these niggas out here, I done proved, I done been the consistent for a five years straight. I done had a tour, different tours, five years straight. It was a lot of people saying I can't do this. I who, couldn't do who? this. It's just a lot. Nigga, who? I, 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 nigga, who? I, no, I'm just nigga, saying. Nigga, who? You like, it's a lot of people no, saying. No, it was a lot of people like, you nigga know. Nigga say, he messy. He, he want to hear he, who it was. Yeah, but I ain't going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, it was, a, you know, it was a lot of people saying, you you can't do this. Uh, ah, you doing the weird, dead gay. And then when you actually come to my show and you see what I was doing, like, I'm doing stand up. I ain't doing no gay jokes. Well, my wig was was a character. Well, let's get into the wig. I, I, I mean, I had Brandon. I had Brandon T. Jackson here last week. Yeah. Uh, a week before last, he says that when he wore the wig, I, I mean, when he wore the dress, he said it it changed his whole career, and he somewhat seems as if it like it like what what it, 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 like he, he shouldn't have even yeah done it. like like it, you know what they call this a word they use he, he something it took away from the man who yeah. Uh, 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 do you believe that or do you think it's comedy? Every Spears spoke on that as well here. Over and over again. And, and we'll do it again. Because let me tell you something. That stigma, I don't buy into that. First of all, men in drag has always been a comedy staple. And, and, and it's funny because this is when you read some of the comments and you see where people aren't educated. Because one of the talking points that black people bring up is, it's emasculate black men. You don't see white men doing that. Are you out of your mind? They wear kilts. Uh, no, no, but forget the kilts. Dustin Hoffman in Tootsie. Mm. Robin Williams in Mrs. Williams. Doubtfire. Exactly. Uh, Tom Hanks in Bosom Buddies. White guy, Milton Berle. It's just been a comedy staple, period. And then again, I use two words, balance and perspective. When you look at the landscape of all our leading black men in Hollywood, 
And first of all, men in drag has always been a comedic thing. That's why you don't see dramatic actors do it. Like, what, what listen, do you think about Because you become it? like a method actor because you, you embody you, the characters. That so is much. a true actor because you never was in movies yet. Yeah, I'm in the mood. Oh, you which one? Let's yeah, talk about I got that. A, I got a movie coming out. Oh, it ain't out yet. It ain't out yet. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. We're gonna get into but, that. Yeah, it ain't out yet. But still, yeah. you know, did you you just did you did you wear a dress? No. No. Because I'm telling you right now, no. they say My, when you put this dress, have listen. you have you ever wore a dress? I know it was. Don't like, lie to me. We're gonna find the footage. I played a I played an old my character, I played an old lady. So okay. it was like a long uh, short it's like an old one of them Catholic Catholic how you say it like mm -hmm. a long that's a dress like a nun it dress wasn't that's a dress, dress nigga. it was a that's a dress. It, was, it was like shorts it was like long shorts <laughs> but I no it was shorts <laughs> it's not a skirt it was a long some long shorts but I ended up bringing like the short I brought it up a little bit yeah just to play the character but, but it ain't it ain't take away nothing from me cause I I, I you hey. got Miss Doubtfire. He brought he brought up a lot of names. Yeah. Uh, uh, Flip Wilson, a whole bunch of people who had done it. And and it was a thing where it, it's like you see the comedians and you know that this is a thing of art. Yeah. So so we do get that. But Aries Spears even talked about it and said that, you know, people be watching these things, especially black folks, watch them and laugh and love these people, the Tyler mm -hmm. Perry and all of that. They bought all of his tickets and went and sold out, watched it, and nobody really had a deal about oh he wearing a dress yeah but now they're making a big deal about it well you know he wears a wig we can make a deal about that you know what i mean but at the end hey girl how you doing but we don't want to see you you late uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway <laughs> anyway as you as, as you think about how the industry look at like you know uh people who do this or that they, they try to act as if these things stop your career or push your career um I don't, I don't, I can't necessarily say how it looks. To me, it's art. I love Norbit, nigga. I do too. I throw every movie away. I do too. To see Eddie played by 10 different people mm -hmm. on this damn show. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I be watching that old, that old, what's that old boy that say, Norbit, mm -hmm. why you little bitch? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, that Asian man, he killed that. Yo. And when you go back also, Eddie did that on uh, Coming to America with that old man that said, Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, that old man, that old Jewish man. So it's just a dope thing for me, bro. Mine's, and the reason I tell people, I can't speak for nobody else. Mm -hmm. The reason I chose to do my character, Keisha, nobody gonna nail it how I wanna nail it. That's why I did my stuff myself. You ain't gonna hit it how I wanna hit it. So I did my stuff myself. I ain't care. At first, it was a lot of, ah, oh, you know, seeing that, you gay, you know, it used to bother me. It that bothered you. It, when I first started, it bothered me. I'm not going to lie. What did you do? You went in the coming. Let's talk, because I like to back up and go all the way in on something. You were sitting there, thought you were being funny. Yeah. You, <laughs> everybody uh -huh. laughing. Yeah. Everybody laughing. Yeah. And then you get to this one person. You one take comment. Your, all the blessings that God done blessed you with, yeah. bestowed upon you with these good comments. You go to this one. One. And it crushed. And I'm reading that sucker. I'm reading that sucker, but I had to stand up and read. I'm like, hold on, because I'm going to see what this nigga talking about. I had to see it. I'm talking about, and then I just think about it. I'm like, man, I ain't worried about this. Damn. I, I was, because I even told my sister, I was like, man, I'm finna stop doing this gay stuff. I'm not finna do this, put no wig on. What she say? And she was like, boy, ain't nobody, you folks gonna be hating on you regardless. Ain't regardless. nobody gonna do mm -hmm. I'm like, man, my sister don't know what she talking about. I'm not finna put this Did stuff on. Did you see the comment? Because, yeah, that was it. Go read it. Stay back like I was sitting back. You know how you look at a comment and you say, you read it slow, you're like, hold on, because this nigga finna piss me off. Did you respond to him? I didn't respond. I and know. the thing about it, I don't respond. Me neither. Most of the time, I don't respond. But my oldest sister, oh Lord. She, she be on that. She scanned the comments. She will argue oh. with you a whole month. I had to block all her page. I'm like, uh -uh. <laughs> oh, this nigga trying to, oh, he want it. Oh, don't do my brother, because I'll come fight. I'm like, Lord, let them man talk. Just let them talk. <laughs> And and so over the time, as people got used to the character, did they back off some? They did. did. They did. And when I first started, it was like nothing but females enjoying it. Now you see, now it's the dudes enjoying it because it's not. It's um, it's just a character. It's, it's hilarious. I'm not doing nothing out the way. And then it's just a wig. You don't see me with 
dresses, all no this. mini skirts, no you none of that stuff. You don't yeah. see me with none of that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.